I always uh, prefer Maven for Java so that's the reason with some additional benefits uh, some positive points that uh, Maven carries because of these uh, positive points I would like to go with the Maven so in this uh, tutorial in this course we are gonna deal with Maven only so that's the reason now the question arises what is Maven so Maven is a Yiddish word meaning accumulator of knowledge began as an attempt to simplify the build process in the Jakarta turbine project. There were uh, several projects each with their own ant build files that were slightly different so jars were checked into CVS and they wanted a, stand, a standard way to build the projects a clear definition of what the project consisted of an easy way to publish project information and a way to share jars across several projects the result is a tool that can now be used for building and managing any java based project and the result is a tool that i and likes of me the ml ops uh, or devops engineers who love and adore a tool a java based to work on java based projects that is our maven so and they have created something that will make the day to day work of java developers and devops guys and ml ops easier and generally help with the comprehension of any java based project so now the question arises okay they have built a maven tool but what are the objectives of the maven tool so maven's objectives maven's primary goal is to allow a developer to comprehend the complete state of a development effort in the shortest period of time in order to attain this goal, Maven deals with several areas of concern. So first one, how to make the build process easy and providing a uniform build system and providing quality project information and providing and encouraging better development practices. So making the build process easy. So while using Maven doesn't eliminate the need to need to know about the underlying mechanism. That's the main objective of Maven. So you should not spend more time of learning and knowing the underlying mechanism of how to do that. And so Maven does shield developers from many details and the second objective is providing a uniform build system what does it mean so maven builds a project using its project object model we call it in short we say pom p o m pom so maven builds a project using its project object model and a set of plugins once you familiarize yourself with the maven project you know how all maven projects build so this saves time when navigating many projects and the third objective is providing quality project information so when maven provides useful project information that is in part taken from your POM POM again project object model and in part generated from your project sources for example Maven can provide a change log created <laughs> directly from source control and uh, Maven can also provide 
cross referenced sources maven can also provide mailing lists managed by the project and dependencies used by the project depend and unit test reports including coverage so third party code analysis products also provide maven plugins that add their reports to the standard information given by maven so now let's look into the fourth objective that's encouraging better development practices it's as simple as that it's encouraging so, so while you using maven so the maven makes you to uh, to uh, maven encourages you to uh, practice better development uh, uh, practices so it's like providing how will it how will it be done so it will be done through providing a guidelines a specific guidelines for best practices of practices of development so maven aims to gather current principles for best practices development and make it easy to guide a project in that direction for example specification execution and reporting of unit tests are part of the normal build cycle using maven so current unit testing best practices were used to used as a guidelines so keeping test source code in a separate but parallel source tree and using test case naming conventions to locate and execute tests so these are the guidelines which are provided by the maven for the to make you practice uh, best make you follow the best practices of uh, development and having test cases set up their environment instead of customizing the build for test preparation and uh, maven also assists in project workflow such as release and issue management maven also suggests some guidelines on how to lay out your project's directory structure so once you learn the layout you can easily navigate other projects that use maven so while maven takes an opinionated opinionated approach opinionated uh, approach to project layout some projects may not fit with this uh, structure for historical reasons so while maven is designed to be flexible uh, to the needs of uh, different projects it can it cannot cater to every situation without compromising compromising its objectives so if your project has an unusual build a structure that cannot be reorganized you may have to forego some features of the use of maven altogether so now we have seen what is maven we have seen what are the objectives to bring up with uh, to come up with maven and now we will also see what is not maven what what is not maven so maven is a site and documentation tool if you think that's 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 that is only a site and documentation tool no it's not that maven is a tool which does more than that maven extends and to let you download dependencies no not at all maven is not made for that purpose maven purpose to automate the build process and to provide the best practices and to provide a uniform build system and uh, to provide a quality project project information so that's what the purpose of maven and maven is a set of reusable ant scriptlets no not at all a big no maven is completely a tool altogether it's a different tool altogether 